In this video, we're going to be exploring Linux command line. System administration can be done using either text-based utilities such as Bash, the Born Again Shell, or using graphical tools. There are more text-based utilities than graphical tools, however, and there are cases where it is more convenient to use one or the other. That is, we are actually talking about the Linux command line. There are three conventional ways of running the command line interface. You can use Virtual Console, a virtual terminal, or remotely log in through a secure shell. The virtual console are text based consoles similar to the VT100 terminals that were used to run Unix in the days. That is, the whole VT100 terminals used in Unix back in the days when personal computers were not yet available. A command line interface or CLI is a type of human computer interface which is a way for humans to interact with computers that rely solely on textual input and output. What is a shell or terminal? Shell is a program that receives commands from the user and gives it to the OS to process and it shows the output. Linux shell is its main part. Its distro come in graphical user interface which is the um, GUI graphical user interface but basically Linux has a CLI which is a command line interface let us go and check that out I just need to do a quick explanation of this prompt right here this is what we call the, the prompt this right here with the name Paul that is what we call the current working user from at sent to a 7 dash examples dash com this is the host name Remember when we set our host name during back in section one? And this right here, this tilde right here, we call it tilde. This is the present working directory. And the dollar sign right here is what we call the type of user. That is when we type wu mi, you see, you can see we have our name here. We have our current working user. And we can do su dash root, enter. We type in our password, enter, and then we can say who am I, and it will say root. Can you see what we just did there? All right, let's continue with the presentation for this course. The Bond shell called SH is one of the original shell developed for Unix computers by Stephen Byrne at at and T's Bell's lab in 1977. It's long history of use means many software developers are familiar with it. It offers features such as input and output redirection, shell scripting with string and integers, variables condition testing and looping. We're going to talk about types of shell. And the first one we'll talk about is the SH. First SH we have the bond shell called SH is one of the original shells developed for Unix computers by Stephen Bond at AT&T's labs and this was in 1977. And we also have the CSH and TCSH. Developers have written large parts of the Linux operating system in the C and C++ languages using C syntax as a model. This was actually by Bill Joy at Berkeley University. He developed the C shell, which is the CSH in 1978. And the KSH shell stands for Corn shell and was designed and developed by David G. Corn. It is a complete powerful high level programming language and also an interactive command language just like many other Unix and GNU Linux shell and we also have the ZSH shell ZSH shell is designed to be interactive and it incorporates many features of other Unix and GNU Linux shell such as bash TCSH and KSH for the last one we have fish fish is full stands for friendly interactive shell and was authored in 2005 we're not actually going to be looking at that and as we can see here don't forget this right here from paul we call it the current working user from at sent to us examples or com we call it the host name and this tilde right here what do we call it we call it the present working directory and then we call the pound sign or the dollar sign we call it the type of user and you can see what we did right here when we check for the OMI to check for the main current user of the current um, working user of this space right here in the command line and then we will change it to root 
we do the su dash root and we type in our password and we check for who am I again and it is the root. So uh, thank you very much and in the